Okay, y'all start making some noise, making some noise, making some noise. Here we go, Patrick, now we go. Let's get it, Patrick. You guys are doing some good work out there. I just want you to know that. So I lost my phone the other day and I had to go into a T-Mobile store. Anybody been into a T-Mobile store recently? I don't know what the fuck is going on over there. They had like, there's bright pink neon tube lighting everywhere and black glass and it's like a nightclub in there. I don't know what kind of business you think we're about to do T-Mobile, but we're just here for a phone, man. It's like you walk in, it's like a gay dance club from Berlin back in the 90s. <laughs> Looking at your faces, that may not have been the universal reference that I thought that it was, but uh, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but so I walk in, and they do have some great promotions. They have some great sales promotions going to the T-Mobile store. Um, with, a free phone, with a new phone, you can get either three months of free data, or you can get four hits of Molly and a morning after pill. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. It was good timing, too. Good timing. Uh, so anyway, so I get the new phone, and I'm going home, and I forget to turn off the Amber Alerts on the phone. So I'm driving home, and one of those fucking Amber Alerts goes on. And I don't know why those things are so loud. I'm like, not everything's about you, Amber. All right, so fucking dial it back a little bit. Uh, so this thing goes off, uh, and you know, I can hand, Amber Alerts are fine. They serve a purpose, whatever, but they just keep adding colors to the alerts. Have y'all seen that? So first they added the Silver Alert. Right? That's for feral old people. They're just out there running around. Uh, and I, I saw that and I'm like, silver, really? That's a little much, right? Like maybe pewter. I would say pewter, you know, maybe slate gray, you know, ashen pallor of death. Is what I really should uh, but then they just keep adding to them. So the next one they added was a clear alert. Have you even seen that one? A clear alert, I'm like that's a terrible color for an alert. It's fucking invisible. <laughs> That's not a good color for you. But they just keep adding. There's a camo alert. Some of you guys might care about. Camo alert is if a mili if a member of the military goes missing or goes off the you know goes off the noggin and goes start doing stuff. It's a camo alert. I'm like how do you know he's really missing and not just really good, right? I mean, could be, could be, right? Um, so they just keep adding them, and I was looking at it, and I was like, I don't know why they stopped adding the colors when they did. They missed some obvious opportunities, right? Like, they could have had a black alert for when goths go missing, right? Teenage goths go missing, that would have been, uh, they could have had a white alert, but we already have Fox News, so I think we're good on the, on the, on the white alert. Um, I went to a Renaissance Festival recently. Anybody a Ren Fair person in here? Anybody been to one of those places? Yeah, uh, Renaissance, if you don't know, it's the French word for nerds on mushrooms. And uh, it is a whole festival of them. I got it, there's a lot of them. I had no idea there was so much vaping and Coors Light in Sherwood Forest. That's why, why Robin's men were so merry, I suppose, probably. Uh, but I'm walking around and uh, there's also a lot of ye old cleavage hanging around at the Ren Fair, if you've been to one of them. And not just from the ladies, either. The Lord's also packing some hammers, I gotta say. Uh, and it's not making me wonder, like, in 400 years, are they gonna have festivals about right now? You think so? That'd be a terrible fucking festival, wouldn't it? Like, what are they even gonna do? We don't do anything anymore. It's not like, now they can joust. I don't know what they're gonna do for, like, they're gonna reenact famous Twitter feuds. I don't know what they're gonna do. Everybody's just gonna sit around gnawing on plant-based turkey legs and swear on mango white cloth or some shit. I don't know. It's a festival of total fucking awful. Brought to you by your friends at T-Mobile. That's what's gonna happen. Uh, all right, so I saw an ad today for non-alcoholic bourbon. What? Yeah, non, that's where we are as a society, non-alcoholic bourbon. I was like, so when you wanna you know, drink gasoline, but keep a clear head. It's, a perfect, it's the perfect beverage for just such an occasion. Uh, and I'm sitting there thinking, so that means somebody in some marketing conference room somewhere was like, all right guys, you know how bourbon gives you that warm glow and that general sense of well-being, fuck that, we're killing that stuff. <laughs> we're going all in on that decomposing bog rat flavor. That's, that's the part of bourbon that people really want. <laughs> uh, but the truth is, nobody really knows what it is we're supposed to eat or drink. You know, we make up all this stuff, and as soon as you hear something, it changes. Like when I was a kid, a while back, when I was a kid, uh, the most wholesome thing you could eat was a PB&J sandwich washed down with a cold glass of milk, 
right? So two chunks of gluten filled with high fructose corn syrup and fucking peanuts, right? <laughs> with a little shooter of straight lactose on the side. That's what we ate every day. That's what we ate every day. And, uh, you know, can you imagine, like the peanuts were crazy. Like, can you imagine bringing peanut butter onto a school campus these days? Like, the only way Texas would let you bring peanut butter onto a school campus these days is if you hit it in your AR-15. <laughs> that, that one took a dark turn. It took a dark turn. All right, y'all. My name is Patrick Gallagher. Thank you so much.